Okay, sixth grade, lesson 73. This one is on exponents, and then also we're going to be learning how to write decimal numbers as fractions, part two. Okay, so first of all, what does this mean? Do you remember? Uh, it's exponent, right? Yes, very good. This is an exponent. And that means 5 times 5. Very good. So if you saw that, what would it mean? 5 times 5 times 5. Very good. And so, um, no matter how many times, how many numbers I can put 5 or even 6 up there. Um, but regardless, it means this, the same number multiplied 4 times, right? Okay. Now, quick review on that. So, do you know how to say this? Five to the second power. Very good. Um, sometimes people can say five squared. Oh. It's another term. But it's easier just to say five to the second power because everything can be said five to the third power, five to the fourth power, five to the fifth power. But another term that could be used, squared, cubed. Those are kind of more common math terms, but you can say five to the second power, five to the third power. Okay? It doesn't really matter. You got it? All right. You're going to be looking at problems like this, and you're going to compare that to that. Okay. How am I going to answer this one? Three times three times four. You could. No, three times four is twelve. Three times three times three times three. Right, it's not twelve. Yeah. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. 27 times 3 is 81, only because I looked. Okay, so this one equals 81, just so you know. Now let's do this one. 4 times 4 times 4, I right? It might be the same. No. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64, oh. just because I looked earlier. So, which one's bigger? 3 to the 4. Five. Very good. So we don't do that. Feel like you understand how to do that? Mm. All right. Now, do you remember doing prime factorization? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. So what would I do for this? Um, prime factorization. Maybe prime. 2 times 2,000? I mean... 2 times uh, 500? Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Any prime numbers? 500. 500 times That'd 2? That'd be 100, not 1,000. 500 times 2? Oh. 1,000. 50 times 2 oh, is 100. that was it. Yeah, okay. So, I'm 2 times confused. 500. Yeah, then 2 is a prime. Good. Now, I'm going to keep going over here. Remember, when you end in 0, what's an easy way to do it? Uh, 10 times something. Or 100 times something. You can do 10 times 50, right? 10 times 50, or... Five times a hundred. Ten times fifty gives me two zeros. So I got two zeros. So you're good. Okay. And two times five. Okay. And what's a fifty one? Remember, if it ends in zero, you can always use oh, ten. Oh, ten times five. Okay. Five is good. Still got ten to do. Then you could do two and five. Two times five. Okay, we finally ended it. Okay, so now I'm going to write all of these numbers. In order, 2 times 2 times 2, and then there's three fives. Times 5 times 5 times 5. Sorry, I wrote crooked. Okay? So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals 1,000, right? Okay? What is a way I can write that using exponents? Um... Two oh. to the third power. And then five to the third power. Five to the third power. So if I multiply that and that, does that mean the same thing? Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is the easy way, or the simplified, bringing it all together, the best way to show it, rather than writing it all like that. See how I did that? So that kind of shows the same thing, but it's written simpler here. Yeah. You get it? Okay. You feel like you're understanding so far? Yeah. Okay, so that's writing prime factorizations using exponents. Okay, just so you know. All right, look at this one. Okay. 
that's zero. Very good, because 10 squared is 100. 100, and 100 minus 100 is zero. Very good. All right, now we're going to move over to writing decimal numbers as fractions, okay? Do you remember when we learned this? This was a long time ago. No. How do I write that as a fraction? 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. How do I write that as a fraction? That's how it is as a decimal. Think with me for a minute. What place is Five this in? 5 over 10 maybe? Yes. 5 over 10. And then when we reduce that, it becomes 1 half. 5 over 1 to 5. 1 time, 5 over 1 to 10, 2 times. So 0. 0.5 is that as a fraction. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do another one. This time, it's a decimal and a whole number. So I've got a whole number and a decimal. How would I make this into a fraction or a mixed number? Um, Remember this says three, three. and. So it could be three and. Okay, tenths, hundreds, hundreds. Yeah. So it'd be seven over a hundred. No. Um, Do you understand why this yeah, is? Yeah, I get it. This is a whole number. This is a whole number. This portion is the fraction.